Hey, this is Enrique, West High School Physics and DoD STEM Ambassador for FIRST Robotics. We're doing a tutorial on how to do a line of best fit in Jupyter Notebooks on Google Colab today. Um, so off, off we go. So here we go, uh, first step, load our libraries, pandas, numpy, math libraries. We're also reading in a data set here. This was data that I collected um, in a cosmic ray camp recently with Recorknet. And this is, I'm gonna show you what the data set looks like so that you can enter, then try to explain it. So what I had was um, two muon detectors and the muon detectors were separated by some distance, 20 centimeters, 40 centimeters, 60, 80, one meter. Um, then I did a trial at four centimeters of separation. So the, so the variable that I, um, selected to change uh, was the distance between my detectors. And then I took um, measurements every minute, um, so for 10 minutes for each separation distance. So uh, this 20 centimeters of separation in the first minute had the two muon detectors detected 398 coincidences, or essentially what that means is they detect mu the same muon going through both detectors. Um, and uh, in the second minute, 362, third minute, 372. So um, I did this for 10 minutes for each separation distance, and then I took an average of the number of coincidences or number of muons that were um, passing through both detectors in that, um, in the one minute, in, you know, the average for one minute uh, at that separation distance. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and graph that. Make, maybe it'll make more sense if I make a graph. So I have some data, might as well graph it. Let's uh, define some x and y variables. So the x um, variable is gonna be my separation distance. And the y is going to be my average. So I'm just trying to go ahead and Do go ahead and do that. Let's do a new code block. One where we just plot it. Can we plot it like normal using the plt plot command. So as you can see, it has sort of an exponential look about it. I'm just going to go ahead and add some labels here so that you can see what they are. This is in meters, and then we had some our y. Okay, our y label is going to be counts per minute. Okay, um, so when we replot this, you can see that the farther away the muon detectors are, um, the less coincidences there are between them, or um, it's it's harder to measure a muon going through both of them at the same time, and that's going to decay exponentially. So that's that's what we can find. So one one thing we we can do with data is of course plot it, but another thing we often do is just do a line of best fit. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys now how to do a line of best fit. I'm going to use this code here. This is a NumPy function called PolyFit. Uh, so you have to use NP for NumPy, and it has to be imported. Polyfit, what's going to do is going to fit the data to some polynomial. And in this case, um, this is your X data, this is your Y data, and this is going to be the polynomial that it's going to fit it to. So in this case, we want to make a line of best fits, so the polynomial has um, an exponential of 1, because if you have a y equals x to the 1 power, you have a line. So that, that's what that does. And what we're going to get outputted here is the slope and the y-intercept. So I'll, let's go ahead and execute it, but I'm going to go ahead and print the answer for us. So um, let's, uh, let's print the answer m and the answer b so you can see that the... Um, so this first one is the slope, 
and the second one is the y intercept. If I ever wanted to add like so this print command is useful because you can you can print stuff. You can add text you can print text like slope equals um and then you have to separate it with a comma m uh so, no, y intercept. Uh let's put equals comma so now I can kind of cleans it up a little bit. So there you go. There's there's what it's calculating it. Okay, that's great. But how do I put a line on this graph? Because that's the point, right? So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, the way I'm going to do that is just by copying and pasting this code. So there's nothing new here. Uh, here's the new part. So all I'm going to do is plot another line. So I'm going to say plt plot. And I'm going to plot x, comma, um, what would be my y variable? Well, it's just the slope-intercept form, because y equals mx plus b. So it's mx plus b. And I'm going to go ahead and um, try and make that a dashed line. Let's see if that works. Um, there we go. So so the um, why did I keep this stuff? Because I just wanted to add a line of best fit. It still has the x and y labeled. Um, so this orange line represents a line that fits the data. And how I did that was um, I needed to multiply the x data by some slope and y intercept that fits the data. I bought that from this polyfit function in NumPy. So that's how you do a line of best fit on a graph um, for your work.